Let's talk about Mongolian talk spots. We're going to talk about it. Mongolian spots. So all three of my kids have these spots. You know, they outgrow them. I have different skin tones in my family, so all different kids, but they actually have this. I remember taking my kids to a daycare and they thought I was abusing my child because of these Mongolian spots. And I said, no, I'm black. This happens, this is normal. So John, in the comments before, if you're aware of your children having this, if you are a brown, yellow complexion. So history says that these are called Mongolian spots uh, because Asian or East African or Native American children are said to have these spots until they're up to two years of age and they fade and sometimes they don't fade and that means there's an issue with their metabolism but this is like some kind of melanin thing before we get all your pig pigmentation or our color or hue we'll have these spots on our body all over let's talk about this so to cover this baby's area it's usually on the back lower on the buttocks dermal melanocytis is the name of the kind of birthmark it's blue group blue gray and they appear at birth for the first three weeks after life and then it's also a form called uh, Mongolian blue spots. And after birth, you'll be able to see this up to their two years of age, toddler age. All three of my kids had this growing up. And I just wanted to say that. Again, it says this is common among people of Asian, Native American, Hispanic, East Indian, and African descent. African descent. I have something to say about that. So the color birth marks are a collection of melanocytes in the deeper layers of the skin. The melanocytes, which are melanin producing cells that make the pigment color in the skin. Awesome. They're not cancerous. They're just not associated with some kind of, you know, diseases. If it lasts whenever into adulthood, there might be some kind of um, metabolism or melanin issue that they have with these cells, but it basically it just goes away. And I thought it was pretty, pretty cool until I did my African-American ancestry. This is, you know, I'm from Africa or whatnot. And then I did the deep dive ancestry, which actually showed me the ancient history that's tying these markers of people that my DNA come from, which is Mongolia. Huh. Also, in my U.S. sensitive records, I found out that I'm actually Native American. Huh. And, you know, of course, European, that small percent. But... I started thinking, and I'm like, well, they call them Mongolian spots. A lot of us blacks have them in America. But then you actually tie these markers and you do your ancestry and deep dive into your China and Mongolia come up here crazy. You know, this is BC and AD's tied to these remains in Mongolia. These are markers, DNA markers tied to my ancestry. And I'm like, that's pretty funny. I think we should talk about this more. Mongolian spots. Had no idea about it until 